Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Kev's Movie Corner. I'm Kev and this week we are talking about the Philadelphia story. (laughs) The Philadelphia story was, sorry, excuse me. Uh, been a little bit under the weather, so excuse the voice and all of that, but The Philadelphia Story was released in 1940. Um, it stars Cary Grant, uh, Catherine Hepburn, and James Stewart in a movie about a rich, um, a rich woman basically getting remarried after a, uh, after an impulsive first marriage and divorce. Um, it's considered a romance comedy. Um, Catherine Hepburn plays a socialite, uh, Tracy Lord, who is um, getting remarried, and a day before the wedding, um, her ex-husband shows up with a reporter crew who she despises to try to get a story about... Um, her wedding, and pretty much nobody wants to be involved. The uh, the reporters don't enjoy their job, so they don't want to be involved. Uh, Tracy does not want to be involved either, because she doesn't like having her life in the in the press uh, as such. And um, the only reason that it turns out to be that it's happening is because her uh, ex husband now still has feelings towards her, and it's just kind of a, kind of a all over the place, um, comedy with some, um, just random antics going on throughout the entire thing, um, it is, uh, it's kind (laughs) it's, it was a very good movie, it's about two hours long, um, it's inter- it's a fun watch. Um, it is a black and white movie if you're um, not uh, into that, but a lot of these are. You know, these are some old movies. Again, 1940 was, you know, what? That's say, 80, 80, almost 80 years ago. No, it's over 80 years ago. That's 84 years ago. That's a, yeah, this movie's not at all new. So if you, if you, you know, spoilers. 84 years, um, but, uh, anyway, um, the, uh, ex is also a socialite, and the new guy that she's marrying is not, is not so much, he's more of a, uh, what they call sometimes a lower class in this, but, um, it, it kind of, uh, Tracy, throughout the, um, ongoings and everything that happens in the movie, kind of sees, um, more into herself and like what's kind of she's not the best person so it kind of she kind of realizes that I think over uh over the course of the movie which only lasts the time frame is only a couple days so she she kind of realizes that she's maybe needs to be a little bit nicer and a little bit better person which is a nice a nice story um uh it is number 40, I believe, on the AFI list. Again, I'm not in the, probably the best apt to be doing this right now, but we'll, we're going we're gonna to go with it here. Um, it's number 44, which is actually, um, I believe, higher than what it was on the original. This is, we've been going down the, the 10-year anniversary list. Um, uh, a couple interesting things about it, um, there, uh, the film actually was shot in eight weeks, which is kind of crazy, um, that a movie can be shot in that, that amount of time, you know, that's a, that's a two-hour movie, eight weeks is pretty, pretty quick, um, <laughs> Um, but there's a, there's a couple fun scenes in it. There's, there's, 
a pretty good lengthy scene where like three of them are drunk during the whole during the whole port part of it, and um, it's it's pretty comical uh, in a couple places like that, and also when she's trying to um, kind of throw one on the reporter, she's acting all just not like herself, kind of uh, hoity-toity, I guess you would say, and um, is uh, is just trying to put one on the reporters because she actually realizes or finds out, knows that they're reporters before they uh, before she even meets them. So it's it's kind of a big um, big ordeal when this whole thing's going on, but it ends up it's a pretty good story. Um, it's got a good message, I believe, in it. Um, and it, it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, it's, it's a pretty easy watch. It's about, about two hours long. Um, and it, it flows by pretty well. There's not a whole lot of, I mean, I, it is a comedy. I did laugh out loud a couple times, but it's not, you know, it just kind of depends on what your, what your comedy sense is. You know, some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. It's just the way that it is. But, um, I think that's about all I got for you guys this week. Um, next week, uh, Nikki's going to be joining me, and we're going to be watching Damsel on Netflix. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you next week.